Star City, home to the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. Situated near Moscow, it's where Russian space travelers have lived and trained since the 1960s. ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet from France is here as a guest of Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, who will be helping him to prepare for his imminent flight to the International Space Station. He'll be traveling to orbit in a Soyuz spacecraft with Commander Oleg Novitsky, who, together with Toma, will be in charge of docking operations, and NASA's Peggy Whitson, with whom Toma recently trained at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Those two guys I'm flying with, Peggy Whitson and Oleg Novitsky, they're veterans, they flew to the space station already, so they know their job very well. I'm in a very privileged position, those guys are ready to go, I can see it in their eyes, We're, we've trained enough for now, we are tired of sitting in the sim, we want to sit in a, in a real spacecraft and, and launch to space. Thomas Pesquet isn't the only ESA astronaut at Star City. Paolo Nespoli from Italy and Alexander Hirst from Germany are also here preparing for upcoming missions. They're scheduled to fly in 2017 and 2018, respectively. Every ESA astronaut follows a similar program of international training, spanning Russia, Europe, Japan, Canada and the USA. Simulators are an integral part of the program. This piece of hardware is the Don Soyuz, used for learning manual controls in operations such as approach and docking to the ISS. The Soyuz capsule, which will carry Toma and his crewmates to and from orbit, is based on a tried and tested Soviet design from the 1960s. Launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the upcoming mission will be its 132nd flight. As flight engineer, Pesquet will need to be ready to take the controls at any stage, which means many long hours in the simulator. It's hard to sit in there for such a long time because the position is uncomfortable, especially for, for bigger people like me. Um, so we know it's, it's painful sometimes, painful in the knees, in the joints, because you're in a, in a crouched position like this. Uh, but that's the price to pay if you want to fly to space. Passing the Don Soyuz examination means that Toma is now qualified for the transportation stages of his six-month mission. Unlike his Soyuz crewmates, it'll be his first flight on board the spacecraft. But thanks to his training at Star City, he's more than ready for the launch pad and to begin his career as a fully-fledged ESA astronaut.